I really like neurosurgery. It's pretty obvious. And I really like neurosurgery, brain tumors. I love treating brain tumors with neurosurgery, radiosurgery, the whole gamut. And so if I were thinking like a medical student, if I were a fourth, third, second, or first year medical student, I want to try to separate the trees from the forest. What's the important stuff? What's the not so important stuff? The first place you want to start with are what are the most common brain tumors? Meningiomas? Absolutely. Glioblastomas? Absolutely. And metastases. If you just want to go by pure numbers, pure numbers, the most common extraaxial brain tumor, meningioma. The most common intraaxial tumor, glioblastoma. And then the most common tumor maybe by numbers because that whole cohort, lung cancer, breast cancer, uh, kidney, skin, GI cancers, those cancer patients are now living longer and longer. And so they have more metastasized to the brain. So if you just go by sheer numbers, those, those three are gonna be continually at the top of the list. And those are the ones that you're gonna have to know about as a student to go into neurosurgery and also because you're going to be dealing with questions as residents and attendings ask you, what do you know about meningiomas? And when I think about meningiomas, I first want to think about embryology. And I know I, I, I literally can hear you groan over the internet. Maybe that's just everyone collectively groaning. I can hear you in Los Angeles. Embryology. I know I hated embryology too when I was a med student. I still hate it now. Okay, that, that's just full disclosure. But for a second, let's stop and think. The brain is what? The brain is ectoderm. The brain is just skin cells. <sighs> really, we should be a subfield of dermatology, right? Brain is just specialized skin cells. It blows my mind when I think about that in that way. But when I want to stop and think, the reason I'm bringing it up is because if brain is ectoderm on the inside, then what's the origination of meningiomas and the meninges and the arachnoid cap cells? These are coming from the mesoderm, a different layer. And so these are not intraaxial tumors. These are tumors that are occurring from the meninges. You have the covering, the dura mater, right? You have the arachnoid and you have the pia. And the pia is stuck to the brain, but the, the meninges comes from the the mesoderm. And so this tumor comes from the arachnoid cap cells, the junction of the brain itself proper, the arachnoid, and then you have the mesoderm, the meninges. And so this is where the tumor is coming from. And this junctional point, for some reason, leads to tumors. For example, when you look at acoustic neuromas, another tumor I really, really like is that when you're looking from the, the junction of oligodendrocytes to Schwann cells, from the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system, that's the junction where acoustic neuromas occur. And this is the junction where meningiomas are tumors that come from the meninges. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.